What up, Internet? I'm Young Guru, and welcome back to Long Live the Queen. In the last episode, we went to war, I believe. Failed to gently let down a duke, and uh, indentured a poisoning woman. And in week 14... Ah, yes, that is what we're going to do. Uh, we have enough points, I do believe, to get cord manners above 50 and get a new outfit to give us plus bonuses to things. Um, And we got a partial pass on internal affairs. I'm curious if we hand the cat suit. That not mood. We would have been Intrigue Star. Oh, maybe that's where the bonus is. Um, 78. What did we... What are you without? Ah, skills. Yeah, we might have got a pass with that. Oh, well. For another time. So, court manners. Double it up. Let's get to 50. As the person of highest rank within the domain, no one may sit at any formal event unless you give them permission. And no one must ever turn their back on you. If they do, you are intended to recognize the insult. You study rules for formal dining, including the proper utensils for different dishes. As the queen, no one will comment on your mistake, but they will notice them. Ah, uh, we're not... I haven't locked a new outfit. Oh, let's maybe only at 25? Oh, not quite 50. You study the traditions of ballroom etiquette, how to politely accept or defer an offer, and how to avoid the impression of attachment to an individual. Always important skills to have, whether you're a queen, a queen-to-be, or in normal day life as a civilian click now it's gonna happen as you are walking one day in the gardens you hear a strange sound and look up to see an owl flying overhead a single dry leaf flutters in its talons I feel like I should have improved my falconing divination failed falcon success and now flying in the open in broad daylight. That's unusual. I wonder if something attacked it. I feel like the dried leaf was a divination. When you return to the castle, your father is waiting for you. There are reports that a keythong has been sighted leaving the old forest. I don't know what a keythong is. Lore failed, Novan history failed. What is a keythong? That is the question, LED. A beast with the body of an enormous golden cat, a sharp beak, and spikes on its back. That's, uh, that's intense. Eek! Several disappearances in southern Caloris are already thought to be the work of this creature. You crazy people. It's just a bunch of people in a village with a fur suit tormenting a blind girl. What do we do? Should we send hunters? Through tradition... The traditional policy on stray beasts is to hope that they return to the forest and stay there. That is a terrible policy. Hunters are no match for such creatures. You would only make it angry and waste more lives. So, we just let it eat people. Everyone dies in the end. Oh, what a fatalist. Appropriate response right there. Plus one, depression. Oh, uh, what? Ah, uh, hmm. You sneak a peek at some of the luckless peasants held in the dungeons. There must be a better way. I think we maintained our anger. Yeah, angry and willful. I get the impression you probably can't get all four completely maxed out. 1.73 bonus here. Uh, what did what did we get? 
Teach us. Boost conversation. Look at that. Big old Kentucky, Der Kentucky Derby hat. Going to the Derby. Boom. Ah. Uh, I don't think this affects anything. Uh, leave it on. What am I doing? Okay, I want to get my court manners above 50 on the real. And then I think we're going back to intrigue. Get that internal affairs up. You memorize the correct title for every servant in the castle. Treating servants with respect ensures good service and a lack of being poisoned. To directly challenge someone's honor is to declare war. Never make a public accusation of cowardice, treason, infidelity, or murder unless you are prepared to face mortal enemies. And on that note, you study the etiquette of dueling. Always important. 66.36. Several generations back, the rulers of Alath and Sedna in neighboring Talasa married. The citizens of Alath objected to this foreign influence, and the resulting heir died in suspicious circumstances, after which the title was passed to a distant branch of the family rather than another child of the Elath Sedna Union. There were many dark rumors about the second husband of the Duchess of Lila, possibly because he was a commoner. It was whispered that he once assaulted the young Duchess of Alath before her untimely marriage and demise. Dun, 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 dun. Remember that the festival of the good lady is approaching. The what? There will be a public celebration for the commoners, followed by a grand gala for the nobility. As queen, you would be expected to lead the procession and take part in the ceremonial, planting, possibly giving a speech. However, since you are not yet crowned, it is not required and it may not be safe to expose you to the public. What do you mean, not safe? Indeed. Outside of the castle, you are less well protected. If anyone means you harm, think of it now. Decide later. There is a letter for you as well. It's from Bryony. Bryony? I went to school with her. But she's a couple years older than me. Her mother is the Duchess of Mead. She's complaining that her mother still won't let her come home for the holidays. Apparently her uncle Cavan is absolutely furious about that woman's trial. <laughs> Delightful. Look at the intrigue that I've caused. She's bored and looking for an adventure. Well, I don't have any to suggest for her. Why don't you try becoming queen? Okay, where are we going now? Just boost that willfulness and anger. Mood. Oh man, yeah. Uh, I'm curious if I can get these both up to full. Okay. I'm gonna be public speaking like a boss coming up here. Oh, I can get internal affairs to max, though. Oh. Hopefully I have two turns? Um, I can almost get this one up to 100 public speaking. Classes. You know what? Um, public. I wish I had done public speaking the turn before, but that's... Eh, too late now. You borrow the menu for an upcoming banquet and practice delivering it as a dramatic speech to an audience of confused chambermaids. Bread. Caesar salad. Minestrone soup. You learn about debate techniques and practice them by trying to convince a castle gardener why a new fountain would be a good idea. Your teacher assigns you to create and memorize a short speech of your own. Oh, please give me one more time to get up to 100. Ah! Darn it. Today is the procession and planting for the Festival of the Good Lady. Will you be leading the parade? If you have any concerns about your safety, please stay here. The people will recover from disappointment if we lose you. 
There is no recovery. <laughs> so I feel like lead the parade exposes me to the most danger of which I am ill prepared to deal with. But I will parade and make a speech. Seems appropriate. Cheer for woeful pressured. I'm not afraid. I'm going to be the best parade leader ever. Simple goals. My little girl. You prepare your best gown for the occasion, then walk slowly through the town with your attendants. It would not be appropriate for you to wear a sword, but you do walk with a sturdy golden scepter that's taller than you are. Decoration failed. Elegance failed. At the end of the route, you help the priestess turn over the earth for the new tree to be planted. After the blessings are read, you hold up your hands and call for silence so that you can speak. Public speaking success. My affectionate greetings to you all and my thanks, for it is the people that make the domain great. We are here today to celebrate the gifts of the good lady, the promise of fertility and new birth. Winter always comes, but winter is followed by spring. Each of us faces hardships, but we grow back stronger than ever. Now is the time for new beginnings, and for my beginnings, as your queen. Your words are met with great applause, as they should be. The procession regroups to return to the castle. Oh, great success. My angry and woeful words. Bam, let's get that up to the top. Look at that mood. I feel like that's maxed. Okay. What are we looking at here? Oh, two. So that means 20 per turn. I can get flattery maxed in one fell swoop. I can also get foreign insight, foreign intelligence up pretty high. Let us uh, skills outfit boarding school uniform skills. So now I can't max that out. I can get court manners. So I think we're just gonna... Let's do this. Flattery. Most people want to believe that they are successful and well-liked more than they want to believe that they are handsome. Play to these beliefs and they will be inclined to enjoy your company, even if they should know better. A certain class of dramatic personality believes utterly that they are ugly and unpopular, even if this is untrue. Flattering their appearance will make them pull away and mistrust you. Instead, compliment their intelligence. This tends to be their weakness. As a monarch, you are expected to embody the virtues of honesty, bravery, and generosity. You should always offer aid to those in need. However, those you aid personally are expected to give you their utmost loyalty, even unto death. You study the forms of a written address, how to issue and decline invitations, how to announce an impending visit, and how to correspond with the rulers of foreign domains. I feel like you need this one, number 80, to successfully decline that dude's proposal. Without just screaming, NO! I'm not ready for the grand ball. I have not been practicing my dance steps. Are you ready for the grand ball? All the nobles in the domain are here to see you, to see their queen. Ooh. You finish dressing and descend the stairs to make a grand entrance. Oh, good lord. All around the rich and powerful pause in their activities to gaze upon you, the ruler of them all. Presence failed, elegance failed, composure failed, decoration failed. <laughs> Seeing yourself reflected in so many eyes makes you want to run away and hide. 
After a moment, you force yourself to carry on, but you're sure they've all seen you hesitate. Your father waits for you at the bottom of the stairs and offers you his arm. Oh my god, this is gonna fail so, so badly. He guides you gently around the dance floor, never rushing you. It's fun to dance with your father, but the look in his eyes is so sad. After this, you must choose your own partner. There are a number of men who hope to catch your eye. Oh, doctor, the Duke of Kaigal alone has brought three eligible sons, all near your age. You look around the room at all your possible partners, which is to say, everyone. No one may begin dancing until you do. You can pick whomever you want, and you will not be denied. Test intrigue plus court manner success. Boom, no doubt every noble family with eligible sons has dreams of a royal wedding. Your choice will raise some hopes and dash others. Feuds could be born here. The Duke of Kaigal has not yet named any of his sons as his official heir, but his second son, Linley, was always kind to you at school. If you wish to show favor to Kaigal, Linley would be your choice. The Duchy of Elath is currently held in regency for its young lord, Adair, who is only 12 and a head shorter than you are. Elath is a rich territory, and at least little Adair wouldn't try to take any liberties. Dancing with Banyan, the Duke of Marais, could be quite awkward if you did not actually wish to marry him. He has been waiting years for a powerful heiress to accept his suit. And he's, is he the one that I was like, screaming no? Not all nobles are created equal. You could choose someone charming and unimportant, like the Earl of Mima. A territory too minor for anyone to consider it a threat. However, the major families might eat him alive afterwards. If you wish to distract attention from your marital prospects, you could choose someone clearly ineligible. One of your uncles, or an older family man like the Earl of Ishtar, or even a woman. Though that would be mildly scandalous. <laughs> Indeed it would. Oh god, was I paying attention. Examine the women. <laughs> it seems... Uh, I feel uncomfortable with that statement. Armand Duke of Mazumba. Let's go with Limley of Kaigal. He bows to you with great courtesy, and you begin to dance. Dancing with a real partner feels quite different from dancing with your father. You knew him, knew his steps like part of you. Now every move is a mystery which I am unprepared to take. Unfortunately, you lose track of which steps you're supposed to do when, and trip over your own feet. Oops! Between the dances, there is time for the guests to mingle, chat, and sample tiny bites of exquisite food, which my new indentured servant has probably poisoned. You interact comfortably with your peers, leaving a wise word in every ear. During a lull in the music, Banyan the Duke of Marais taps an elegant fingernail against a wine glass, letting the clear note ring out through the room. If I may have your attention, I believe we should offer our compliments to our lovely hostess. Her bravery and courage keep our borders defended. Everyone applauds politely. As the gala continues, you take the opportunity to observe nobles that you rarely see. There's Gwenelle, for instance, the young lady of Sudbury, only months older than you, and due to finally inherit control of her duchy soon. I'm a huge fan of the word duchy, by the way. Don't have many of those stateside. Or Adele, the youngest daughter of the Duchess of Lila, and a fierce sportswoman. She was a few years ahead of you at school, and the absolute terror of the ball fields. No Brioni. She had said her parents were leaving her stuck at school this season. Her parents are here dancing to the, together. The Duke Consort clutching his Duchess possessively tight. Strange that there's no sign of your cousins, though. Shouldn't they be here? Uh, that's because she didn't make it through the snake bite. All that months ago. Your aunt and uncle are here, of course. It would be scandalous if they hadn't come. Merva being so close by. Sense magic failed. It's nice to be able to enjoy time with friends and family, isn't it? 
was I being magic bombarded right there? Bam. Keep those things high. Okay, we're still in the fourth month. So I can pop pow court. Manners and public speaking could get maxed. Oh, I could just fall short on flattery. I think I want to do flattery though, get it above 75, because that might give us the the next tier for this. Classes, flattery, and public speaking. Hi. Done. Most people want to believe that they are special and will react well to hints that they are receiving slightly better treatment than others. However, too obvious favoritism will stir resentment, and only the vain enjoy it. The most reliable form of flattery is to convey that you honestly like the target, enjoy spending time with them, and wish them to think well of you. But don't let them know that you refer to them as the target. Your teacher assigns you to read about a subject, memorize a few good phrases from the beginning and ending of a speech, and then make up the rest on the spot. Your teacher assigns you to read about a subject, then requires you to answer questions about it on the spot in front of an audience. Public speaking success. You have nothing more to learn about public speaking. Indeed. You wander downstairs to visit your father and talk about the latest events in the domain. You're moving with such enthusiasm that you don't realize your father isn't alone until it's too late to avoid him and his companion. Seren, Countess of Miranda and Callisto. Who are you? You are flashy. Age 25, a single, no other descriptions. You are too kind, Jocelyn. Countess Siren, not a member of your circles. She's a bit more than a decade your senior, far too old to have ever been your friend, and yet not at all old, as noble women go. She has two minor titles, no husband, and your father's arm in her grasp. Composure fail. How dare she make a move on your father? Shame her with silent scorn. Insult her with false flattery. Trip her as she passes. I feel like false flattery. I got this. Good afternoon, Countess. Yes, what a lovely brooch you're wearing. It reminds me of a bit. It reminds me a bit of one my mother used to wear. Boom! I suppose you have an eye for valuable prizes, don't you? ready to leap in and snatch them the instant they become available, to keep them out of anyone else's hands. Uh, uh, I should go. <laughs> Bye. Get the fuck out. Once she's gone, you raise an eyebrow at your father. Don't give me that look, young lady. She's a nice woman. Nothing more. Okay. She wants something more. And it's not going to happen anytime soon should be careful how you deal with people like Siren. You need the goodwill of your nobles as well as your commoners. There haven't been any problems so far, other than the 1,000 plus deaths from your soldiers. As queen, you must be aware of everything around you. Intrigue success, isn't that what I have agents for? It is. Secret, secret agents. Yes, but you must give them direction. What is your greatest concern? Oh, test time. Noble plots, commoner uprising, foreign threats, assassins. Ah, uh, noble plots. I need to know what the other nobles are up to, and whether anyone is plotting behind my back. Like Mon Uncle. As you wish. Oh. Yeah, well. We keep visiting the dungeons, why not? And with that, we enter the next month, the fifth month. I'm Young Guru, 
Thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time.